Layla is throwing down some real knowledge. Um, one, how she became who she is today, and two, our immune system and uh, not becoming an automaton or a robot to fear. And I think that's the, uh, Layla, that's the, um, the biggest virus right now that we're facing is the virus of the mind embracing fear. And this is why people go right. into um, being a robot, so to speak. Absolutely. Can you hear me now? So let me ask you, Rev? say a couple of words. Let me see if you're connected. Yeah. Can you, you can hear me now? I can, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cause I have I all my you. bars. I just want to make sure you, okay, good. This light is actually nice. I look pretty out here. I think I'm gonna stay right here. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So uh, 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 that last thought you had, we kind of lost. If you remember what it was, you can bring it to us. I don't remember actually saying that, you know, I've been trying to use my platform through all of this, not to add to the confusion because people hear so many different things. I'm not any expert from the beginning. I've been trying to just encourage people to keep their immune system strong, you know, get your vitamin D, get your vitamin C. This virus isn't going anywhere. Just like the virus isn't gone anywhere. In fact, many times with people who have been sick and I don't get sick because my immune system is strong, you know, and, you know, I'm not going to be running out trying to get a vaccine. So for me, I'm thinking, OK, what does this mean for me and my family? Does this mean we're going to hide in the house forever? Does this mean we're never going to be around our friends again? What's going to happen? No, what this means is I'm going to be as safe as possible. I'm going to continue to, to wash my hands and try to abide by, you know, the things that I need to do. But at the same time, I'm not going to live in fear. You know, I'm just going to, you know, because God's plan is what's going to come through in the end, no matter what we're going through now. You know what I mean? We're gonna, we might have to suffer a little bit. We might have to make some sacrifices, but you know, at the end of the day, God is in charge and, you know, but at the same time, I'm going to be smart, you know, and I'm just going to, you know, use what the knowledge that I have absolutely. to be the strongest human being that I can be. Right. A absolutely. The idea is, is to be prudent and, and, and not do things that are going to hurt ourselves, but not to leap into fear and doubt and worry. Now, you know, we just had a major um, meditation, uh, program uh, yesterday and the idea is for us to become so empowered that we literally begin to mentally and spiritually create the world we want to live in we don't just leave it up to somebody else's hands we have to become empowered enough to vision the kind of world we want to live in and begin to walk in that direction because if people just stop and do nothing then people who have agendas for our life will determine what the world's going to look like like you said, do we want to be walking around being socially distant for the rest of our life, wearing masks for the rest of our life or, or whatever? No, we don't. So we have to begin to define the kind of world we want to live in and then lift our awareness into that. Uh, reality is so malleable right now. Whenever there's a crisis, uh, uh, reality, the uh, world of phenomena becomes very malleable, very flexible. And we have an opportunity to actually vision and describe the kind of world we want to live in. And we don't want to live in the kind of world that um, we're socially distanced. We're wearing masks all the time. So that means that we have to begin to take care of ourselves and we have to begin to articulate and vision a different world and walk in that direction and not leave it up to other people. We're, I think what you're doing on your platform, what I'm doing here at Agape, is we're trying to empower people to really take their own mind back and to live an empowered life. Now, when this is, it, obviously we're not gonna go back to normal. It's gonna be a different normal that we go back to. But when we're able to go out again, what do you think you're gonna take with you? What's, what have you learned about yourself that you want to amplify more when you go back out? Or even now, you know, not that, even going back out? Well, I think the main thing is that, you know, every life is, you know, we've, we've We've had to really put things on hold. We've had to really put a lot of things on hold and learn a lot of new things about ourselves. Um, and, you know, I'm just going to, I feel like I'm a stronger person from this. You know, my kids are going to be stronger. They're going to have gone through something in their life. Um, and, you know, like I said, just living every day to the fullest. But that's kind of what I was already doing. Um, right. But for me, you know, it's funny because I'm actually thinking about moving out of California, you know. Really? Um, and I've never, mm -hmm, I've never... I've never thought to do that before because I felt like, 
this is where I needed to be for everything that I'm doing right now. But it's opened my eyes to hmm, maybe this isn't where I need to be, you know, because I've always wanted to, you know, have more land, not necessarily be in the city, you know, teach my kids about some other um, different values in life. And, you know, I was just that's that's one realization that I had, you know, because back California is being so aggressive right now in terms of just the masks and all these new mandates and things that are coming that I'm not necessarily want to want to participate in you know so you know how it is sometimes you're like oh well you might just have to get on out so if i have the opportunity to do that i'm really looking into it so that's just something like i said i never thought i'd be saying i've been here all my life right right well I, I so i'm glad you're online, I'm online. Where there's definitely a lot of more nature from yes absolutely <laughs> <laughs> keep tuning in right yeah um. so how, how how is uh how is curtis how's curtis doing Curtis is good. Um, he is in the house, actually. He is, you know, Curtis has really kept me grounded because there's times when I'm like, babe, you know, what are, what are we going to do? Like, this is crazy. Like, you know, in terms of just not knowing and, and what's coming down the pipe and in terms of what we're going to be possibly forced to have to do. And I'm just like, man, am I still going to be able to travel? Am I still going to be able to speak? Am I still going to be able to, to, to make an earning? You know, we might really have to make some 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 real decisions here. And I've learned that he's down for whatever. So I was like, okay, that's great. And we've actually fell more in love than we, we have been because we're like, we reconnected and we're like really on the same page with a lot of things that really are gonna make a big deal in, in our lives and the lives of our children. So, um, you know, but when I kind of get, have my weak moments, when I'm kind of, you know, when you feel a little bit of fear creeping in, you know, in terms of feeling like I'm not in control, um, then he reminds me again that God is in control, you know, which I already know. But, you know, as the mom and the planner, you know, it's like, well, I, I got to make sure I got all the bases covered. I got to make sure I'm, I'm prepared and have that. But he's been able to kind of just remind and just remind me as well. So it's great. It's great that uh, he, he holds it down for me <laughs> when I need him. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, because he has his own career as well. I mean, he's a well-known um, athlete and as well as a TV personality. And how does that work with you guys? You guys two kids and you're both very outgoing individuals. Well, Curtis um, kind of always bases what he's going to do off of what I do because I'm the busier one out of the two of us. So, like, I, I normally do a lot of traveling and speaking and hosting TV shows and things like that. And he kind of works around and one of us has to take the lead in terms of being home. We already homeschool our kids. I've been homeschooling my kids for seven months now. Um, and we were planning on going back to school next year, but now with just the new, the way things are gonna be, we're, we're not gonna go back to school. So that was a realization for me. Like, okay, this is a, this is a, people, a lot of people are experiencing that now, like having your kids home full time, you know, is a whole different thing. And when you work from home, it's really hard to focus and get things done when your kids are pulling on you for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, fighting, arguing, you know, you know how it is. Um, so it's like, it's crazy, you know, but Curtis, before all of this, you know, Curtis has taken the lead with homeschooling. Um, he's, that's, he's kind of in charge of that. He also, you know, whenever I would leave town, he's holding it down with the kids, you know, and we, we do what's best for our family. So he has slowed his schedule down. He had already slowed his schedule down a lot, you know, so that I was able to do the things that I need to do. But now if I'm going to be home more, you know, we're just, like I said, it's all about restructuring, having new information, figuring out what's best for our family and going for it. But for us, we both are in the mindset that we put our kids first, family first, you know, before, before anything else. Right. Right. You guys have a nice, um, you have a nice vibe between each other. It's a good, and I like hanging out with Curtis. We, I think we, last time we hung out before COVID, we went to a Laker game, and uh, and that was cool. We done some other things. And you guys have a you have a nice you have a nice vibe. Now, how old are your kids now? Curtis, yeah, Curtis puts up with my crazy butt really well, you know, because you know I'm I'm a little special. I'm a little special. So, but um, my kids are now Sydney's nine and CJ is eleven. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I remember seeing them. Hi, everyone. I see your, I, and I see your, I see your comments, everybody. Thank you so much for all of your kind comments. Um, we see you. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see them as well. So, in terms of um, what we were just talking about, when you move forward, you're still going forward with the same energy of being the best that you can be. And I think just that statement right there is very important for people because many people are just trying to survive day to day. They're not necessarily growth centric. 
And so when you say a statement like that, we don't want to throw a statement that, like that away. When you want to be the best you can be, when people wake up and live like that, then that vibration creates opportunities. It opens up possibilities in one's life and it opens up the possibilities for us to grow into a level of empowerment. So we want, I, want really, I want people to really hear that. So you're not just waking up doing the same thing every day. You're waking up saying, how can I be the best of myself every single day? And then the universe matches that vibration and doors open. Things happen for us. And so being growth centric is very, 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 very powerful. Now, absolutely. Any, any last comments you want to say? I mean, we, there's a lot of stuff we can talk about. We've covered a lot of material. I think that, uh, you know, there's so many things going down in society that have been uh, revealed through this situation that we just want to be on the edge of transformation and everybody has to do what they can do to not only make themselves a better individual, but we want to build a kind of just global society. And, and that's what it's all about. Any, any, any parting shots, any closing comments? I just want everyone to, you know, surround them with an information that's empowering um that sits well with your spirit you know anything that doesn't make you feel good whether it's on social media or a certain person this is the time to get it out of your life because we need to be as strong as we can be in terms of our health our mindset and our purpose in life so i have a free email series that people can sign up to on uh, leilaali.com it's called replenish you and it's about replenishing your health your mindset and your purpose and it's just a good way to get started so i invite anyone um to just log on and sign up there and they'll they'll uh start getting the emails so that's all very good you know what i just thought about I, you know who i texted yep. today and we were talking today uh hulk hogan. oh hulk hogan. yeah how's he doing <laughs> good he he, doing? We, we, but he just popped into my mind so we started chatting and then i realized you were the one who brought him to agape mm -hmm. because yep. you guys were hosting some program and he was in a moment of deep depression and you, for some reason, just called him out of the blue and stopped him from doing something very disastrous with his life. And, got, and, and he flew into Agape the next day. Do you remember that? That's, yep, that's amazing. I mean, a divine intervention, right? I didn't even know that he was going through those issues, um, you know. And he, he, it's so funny because he told the media, you know, Layla, Layla saved me from committing suicide. I was like, I wish he would have called me and told me that before he went public <laughs> with it. <laughs> yeah, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he went public with that. You called him right at that moment and you told him to fly to Agape and he flew the next day. Yep. And he's been there ever since. That's great. I he's think that alive, you know, I just he just and recently he probably popped into my mind is because of you because of this connection that you have with him. And obviously you brought him to Agape and we've been connected ever since. But um because of COVID as well, uh, I've, I've, not just because of COVID, but I think it's a good time because of COVID that I launched an app that people can get. We, I just filmed some more material that's going in there for people's health, how I do my shake. I, I filmed um, ways to stay healthy during this particular time, spiritually, mentally, and physically. So if they go to um, michaelbbeckwith.tv, they can subscribe and then go to the app store, Beckwith Inspires, MBB, or they can go to my website at michaelbeckwith.com and sign up. But like you, I'm trying to provide more opportunities for people to really keep their mind from being hijacked by fear and worry and begin to give good, just, just as you have put good nutrition into your body, you want to have good thought. You want to have thought for food that inspires and heals. So not only are we doing the live streams on Sunday and daily meditations, daily prayers, um, things like that online, the, the app is available too. So Layla, get my app today. <laughs> I will definitely get the app. I wasn't even aware of that. I already am, I already do the live streaming and, you know, it, it, it makes such a difference, you know, in terms of just the energy connected because i have a lot of these thoughts myself but when we all come together and we share that energy it really makes a difference and what i love about agape is i've never been a religious person i'm a spiritual person and any religion can can go there and people say what is a guy is based here was based here in california but not everyone's started agape international online agape live so that and when I, you know i posted about it 
you know, a couple of weeks ago and, and invited people to join in because you can be any religion and you're going to get something out of it. It's not about religion. You know, it's about spirituality and your connection with God and just, you know, being yeah. a human being in this world. So right. thank you for all that you do. Absolutely. Thank you, Layla. Give, give Curtis my love and uh, hug your kids for me. And we'll see you when we open up. But right now, we'll just see you online. I appreciate everything you're doing. I appreciate your story. I appreciate your, <laughs> you know what, you know what? You, you, you were such a rebel as a kid. <laughs> but, your rebell, but your rebelliousness has become like passion for progress and passion uh, for lifting people up and passion. So your rebelliousness has become actually your tool for success. And so Absolutely. continue to be you. Continue to be you. I will. And uh, I don't know anything other to be. Give your mom. That's Veronica. all I. Yeah, yeah. Give give your mom Veronica my love, and we'll talk soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Love you guys. If you want another awesome video in our Black Excellence series, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there.